Hey y'all, what's good, and welcome back to another game review. Today we're going to be reviewing a game called Hi-Fi Rush. Now, this game is actually still relatively brand new, you know what I mean? A lot of people might not really know about it, you know what I mean? I mean, it just dropped on Game Pass just last month out of completely, like, nowhere. It really just dropped out of thin air. But let's get into the review, okay? So, for those of you who don't know what the game is, basically, it's a rhythm, hack and slash, beat em up action, adventure, platformer game. You know what I mean? And yeah, just off of that alone, like if if I were to like summarize it, like dumb it down, I would say it's a combination of uh, Dance Dance or Revolution or any other rhythm game that you might know and Devil May Cry. You know what I mean? So just off of that alone, you can tell how absolutely awesome the game is. So you play as this character named Chai. And by the way, you're going to notice that a lot of the characters' names are named after food. You know, it's, it's kind of a little funny thing that they kind of do. But yeah, you play as this dude named Chai, and he goes to this uh, tech company called Vandalay Technologies, and he wants to get a robotic arm so that he can become a rock star or whatever. But midway through his surgery, when he's getting his robotic arm, his MP3 player sort of kind of accidentally, by some weird twist of fate, falls on top of him. And it ends up getting fused within him and connected to his robotic arm. And he basically gets these music, metal, guitar powers. You know what I mean? If you play the game, you'll understand it. You'll see what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? It doesn't really make much sense. But, you know, it's just that type of game. It doesn't really take itself very seriously. You know what I mean? So after he gets his music powers, uh, he joins up with the rest of the characters. And then they fight through all the Vandalay bosses to get to the final boss, Kale. You know what I mean? To try and shut down his secret evil plans behind the company and yeah that basically sums it all up you know what i mean so you know the story it's pretty nice pretty basic but there, i feel like there's a lot more to it when you actually get into it you know it's actually pretty engaging and the dialogue the characters are honestly fun to talk to and listen to and stuff like that they all have their own quirky personalities you feel me and yeah overall it's kind of refreshing you know what i mean i mean it is a little bit meta you know they do do a little bit of uh, meta dialogue which is honestly kind of funny and enjoyable in my opinion but not everybody might agree with that okay so the gameplay it's the gameplay is just beautiful it's awesome you know what i mean the rhythm the hack and slash the fighting the combat it's just overall so fun so fast paced no matter which difficulty you put it on you're gonna feel the rush either way you're gonna feel the high fi rush either way <laughs> you see what i did there okay um i'll stop but yeah you know i uh like i was saying though the combat is just absolutely awesome you're gonna feel like you're playing through a real life amv you know what i mean you know those little edits that they do you know of, uh anime protagonists and characters fighting to some really sick beats that's basically what the game gonna feel like when you play through it you know what i mean a couple cons that i will mention though are that the levels are kind of long you know what i mean so if you want to go back into it to get some collectibles or hidden stuff or get a get a high schooler or something like that it's going to be kind of tedious because the levels are kind of long so you'll have to replay a lot of long sections to get to specific points that you want to redo certain stuff in you know what i mean and the platforming is kind of tricky and stiff you know what i mean i mean i feel like it's because of like the rhythm setup literally everything in this game moves to the beat if i didn't mention that already you have to move to the beat i mean you don't have to but you'll play the game a lot more effectively if you move on beat you know but i feel like that kind of uh takes away from the possibility of the platforming being as fluid as it can possibly be you know what i mean so yeah the platforming you know you kind of have to get used to it a little bit but you know other than that it's not that bad you know so overall i would rate the game a good solid crispy beautiful 9.5 out of 10 you know what i mean really it's overall just a breath of fresh air compared to a lot of games i've been playing lately like lately i've just been playing uh competitive shooters you know overwatch fortnite that type of thing but it's nice to see a new uh third person action adventure fighting story game you know uh just come out of nowhere once in a while you know what i mean it's a nice change of pace you know it's nice to see like one of those types of games for xbox by the way i should mention that this game is only next gen xbox and pc only you know it's ex it's exclusive and stuff like that so you know it might be kind of disappointing to some but sort of kind of revitalizing for others you know what i mean i mean me personally i don't compete in console wars so i'm not a part of that you know but um yeah it's on xbox and pc xbox series x and s you know what i mean luckily i have a series s so you know, uh, get to experience the game in all its glory, you know, uh, 60 FPS, ray tracing, actually, it's uh, cell shaded, you know what I mean, that's one thing I should also mention, the art style and the animation, chef's kiss, like, bro, you can tell that they really worked hard on it, the animation and the art style is just so fluid and well colored and so well designed and stuff like that, it's just so 
well put together. It feels like you're watching a cartoon, and in some cases you are. Like, they transition from the 3D to the 2D uh, cutscenes, you know? But either way, it'll feel like you're watching a cartoon, whether you're in gameplay mode or cutscene uh, cartoon mode. It's gonna feel like you're watching an anime either way, you know? Very anime-like game, you know? Has the corny lines and the dialogue and the power of friendship, heroicness, you know what I mean? But overall, that makes the game kind of wholesome and satisfying, you know what I mean? So once again, like I said, other than the long levels and the slightly tricky platforming the game is definitely worth your time you know what i mean it's out now on game pass uh xbox next gen only and pc only you know what i mean it's definitely worth your money for real like support the developers it was made by the same people who made the evil within and the evil within 2 which is crazy like the way that they just shifted genres to an extreme like this is just absolutely like, that's unheard of, you know? I mean, I'm sure other developers have done it before, but it's, like, the first time I've seen something like this, you know what I mean? Going from horror games to rhythm hack-and-slash platformers. That's so weird, you know? But, hey, I really hope that they further invest into this game and this franchise overall, you know what I mean? Anyway, I think that's going to wrap up today's game review. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and tapping on the video. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications for more videos, and drop a comment down below on any possible games I should review in the future. And until then, I'm going to see you all in the next video, and peace out.